Hey everybody, I'm John, this is Strategic Investing, and I am just gonna jump right into it here because everybody's been speculating about what awesome thing Tesla is going to announce this Wednesday, March 1st at their investor day. But honestly, in my opinion, this tweet that we got from Elon on Friday actually holds a clue to a bigger investment opportunity than anything that they're probably going to announce on Wednesday. Here's why. If we take this image here and we zoom in, we will see, and this is from their uh, new engineering headquarters in Palo Alto, right? That they just held an event for, they just announced. But if you zoom into the front here, you can see these things, okay? These little pillars here. And what these look a whole lot like are these. These, ladies and gentlemen, are AI weapons detection systems from a company called Extract One. Now, obviously you don't see the branding in the photo, you don't actually have to go with that when you buy it. You can wrap it in whatever you want. You can you know, even sell the advertising space. But the point is their stock, Extract One, in my opinion, is about to explode. Now, let me explain. What these do, this technology, has the potential to literally replace every walkthrough metal detector out there because these are not metal detectors. These are weapons detectors. When you go to a pro sports event, when you go to a concert, you walk up to a metal detector, you have to take everything out of your pocket, your phone, your keys, whatever spare change, etc. put it in the bin, then you have to wait for the guy to tell you, okay, you can walk through, you walk through, the guy says you're good, and you have to take everything and you put it back in your pocket. Everybody in front of you had to do the same thing, everybody behind you is gonna have to do the same thing, and it takes forever. With these, these use artificial intelligence to differentiate between actual weapons, guns, knives, and all of the other stuff that doesn't really matter, like your phone, your keys, etc. okay? What that means, instead of having to go through that long process, everybody just walks right in and the system will be able to detect anyone that's actually carrying a weapon that is actually a threat, right? What this means, a much better patron experience, a much smoother line, you don't end up with these hour plus waits, potentially at large sports events, you know, major concerts, things like that. It's a way better system and before I get into exactly why I think their stock is going to explode and the deal they just signed with Madison Square Garden, let me really just convince you that these here um, are actually the Extract One system. Now, if we zoom in here, you can see what looks like the top cap here. And if you're on your phone, you might not be able to see this. Maybe you have to rewatch um, on your laptop. But I think by the end of this, even if you're on your phone, I will have convinced you here. The second thing we notice here, they do have the base as well and the screen. And notice that this screen here, and even if you zoom in also, you can kind of see the faint outline of what looks like this camera here. But this screen is only on the right pillar, right? Not the left pillar here, just as we see in the photo, okay? And also, if you look closely at the base here, you can see on the exterior of the pillars what looks like these rollers here, right? And then finally, if I haven't convinced you yet, credit to my brother here for recognizing this, kind of playing around with the exposure on the image. But if you mess around with the lighting, the exposure, you can actually see what looks to me here like the exact arrows that are on the Extract One system. Now, you guys can obviously make your own decision. You guys can make your own analysis as to whether or not you think these are the systems. For me, it's pretty convincing. For those of you that don't know, haven't heard about Extract One, let me just explain to you who they are. They are a Canadian company that went public in 2016 under the name Patriot One Technologies with no sales and honestly, poor management. They dilly-dallied around in the R&D stages for a while with a good idea, but no results. Then about two years ago, they changed up the CEO. Peter Evans came on board as CEO, brought in a new management team, refocused the company and launched sales in early 2021. In March of 2021, this company had seven contracts, $800,000 in subscription backlog or contracted revenue, and a sales pipeline of $8 million. Fast forward to their most recent quarter, about a year and a half later, they now have 39 contracts, 6.6 .6 million in subscription backlog, and a qualified sales pipeline of over $74 million. On top of that, most of the company's growth has come in the last couple of quarters. Here's CEO Peter Evans explaining exactly their growth trajectory. In the first quarter of this 2023 fiscal year, we essentially booked as much business in that quarter for our platform solutions as we did for the entire fiscal 2022. That bears repeating. We did as much business in the first quarter as we did in the all of the prior year. The business has hit an inflection point. 
and we expect this bookings trend to continue throughout the balance of fiscal 2023. Our booking performance builds on the reported results of our fiscal 2022, Q4, where we booked 840% more business than in fiscal 2021, with approximately 66% of that coming in that fourth quarter following the announcement of the Smart Gateway. The second key highlight is the customer growth and retention. I'm very, very pleased with the continued growth of new customers and contracts. We've been announcing almost one per week. We've brought on new brand names like Oakview Group and the San Jose Sharks and the sports and venue management businesses, and we've expanded, expanded into other market verticals, such as manufacturing, schools, government offices, much sooner than we had originally, originally anticipated. We had planned to and had targeted to primarily focus on the sports and live entertainment interests. But the high interest from these other segments and the pull that they're creating on us has really grown our pipeline also. Today, nearly 50% of our sales pipeline is made up of markets outside our target market of sports and live entertainment. This is further satisfying. What's further satisfying to me out of all of this is right now we have 100% customer retention. And one thing that he mentions there at the end that I think often gets overlooked is the 100% customer retention, which I think is extremely impressive. And obviously they are a new company. They are a, a relatively young company. So it wouldn't be as impressive as say if they were a 30 year old, 40 year old company, but it's still impressive. And it's important because that means that every customer that has decided to purchase the product Every customer that has gone and entered a contract with Extract One has never left, right? And, and this is important too because there are competitors in the space and they have kind of had some issues with that. So it is one thing that also differentiates Patriot One or, or Extract One now from their competitors in the space. And obviously I mentioned they started out as Patriot One Technologies. Well, the company recently rebranded under the name Extract One just this last year. And they also have recently announced a major financing deal with Madison Square Garden Sports, the company that owns the New York Rangers and the New York Knicks, and who of course is affiliated with the world renowned venues like their namesake, of course, Madison Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall, the soon to open Sphere in Las Vegas, and a variety of other venues that will be a huge catalyst for Extract One sales. Not to mention, of course, that if I am correct about this image here, and I think I am, then Tesla, the company that is leading the world, arguably in artificial intelligence, has chosen this AI weapons detection company to protect their engineering headquarters in Palo Alto, and possibly to protect their other offices and manufacturing plants. And lastly, this product and this company, in my opinion, has the potential to be one of the real solutions for gun violence in schools, for school shootings, because they offer better protection than your standard metal detector. They have a better detection rate on weapons, and also they have a much lower form factor. They don't look like your standard metal detector. They don't make the school look like a prison. And also they have a much quicker throughput. Most students get to school at around the same time. If you have to have everybody walk through a metal detector with that same process you go through at a sports event or a concert, it's going to take a while, especially if they have to take things out of their backpacks, put their backpacks in another line. It just makes the whole entry process take a lot longer and it makes the students honestly uncomfortable. If they could just walk through these that don't even look like metal detectors and they can still keep the school safe, that to me is a good thing, regardless of whether you're going to make money off of this investment. But in my opinion, like I said before, I think this stock is going to explode. If you wanna know more about why I think that and more about the company, I will link several other videos that I've done on my channel about this company, as well as their website if you wanna go check out the company and their product. Other than that, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any comments, questions, of course, leave those down below, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.